Back in the day when I first got my Commodore 64, I would subscribe to the magazine Compute and Compute Gazette. And they were pretty neat because not only did they have a lot of good information in it and uh, good stories, but in the back it would typically have uh, computer games that you could type in uh, in basic and then save it to a tape or a diskette and then you had a free game in essence uh, that came with the magazine. Now fast forward a few years and the Amiga comes out. Uh, some of the magazines that cater to the Amiga crowd and the Atari ST crowd, uh, they would actually include a, a, a diskette so you didn't have to, to go through and type type these games in. And I uh, thought I'd go over just one such diskette right here. This is a uh, diskette number 26 from Amiga Power. And uh, let's go ahead and check this out. Now, if you're wondering why I'm using diskettes and not uh, something like a, a GoTek drive, uh, I actually have a GoTek drive right here. Uh, but if you're going for retro computing, you might as well go authentic. I like uh, having it on diskette as well. All right. Move over in front. I can see this a little better. Sorry, got this thing on a squeaky tripod. Okay, F2 for Defender. And this is Defender Plus, which uh, it's a good good copy of the original. Of course, it takes a while to load up disk kit. All right, so we want joystick and we'll pick one player you'll see those little guys at the bottom those are your people so, so if you're familiar with the original defender game they try to go up and you're supposed to try to save them oh wow you can hit the top or get hit by a bomb at the top you can tell i am not good at this game oh died again <laughs> I'm trying to get it where I can rescue one of the people that are being kidnapped there. So I can show you what that looks like. But... Oh, I actually hit the person. You don't want to you don't want to do that. <laughs> or or that. Anyway, that's a good uh, demo of the game, even if it wasn't played very well. And this came with uh, one of the magazines back in the day. So if you see any of these, you might actually download them. They're neat off titles that you might not have seen before. And some of them are bad. This one's pretty good once you get good at it. I'm not there yet.